What's up everybody? Um, yeah, I feel like it's been a while since I've vlogged my journey um, of my implants. Totally flat. I love all the cute sports bras that I can fit back into now. Um, I've cut my hair since I seen you guys last. I'm just loving it short. I just feel like it's just a new me. It just feels fresh and it's kind of crazy right now because I was working out. So whatever. <laughs> Anyways, I know I've been getting a lot of questions, um, you know, what symptoms have went away. If you guys haven't seen my my uh, my other vlogs on this, it is in my playlist. So go and watch the first vlogs if you um, haven't, if you're wondering about what were the symptoms, um, what kind of happened throughout the past three years, you can watch those. Um, as this video, I'm gonna just kind of go over things that, um, positive things that I have noticed so far. So this week, these past weeks, sorry, I should say, my energy has totally came back. Um, you know, I have those tired moments. I say yell at, oh my goodness, those tired moments, but it's not like the fatigue I felt before. The fatigue I felt before was like my bones were heavy. Like I remember telling my mom and Adam, like I just feel like, it was effort to hold my body up, effort to walk up the stairs. I somehow seemed to get myself through a workout, but like everything else was like daunting and dreadful. And um, so that was the hugest thing was my energy. Um, I get my blood work, you guys, in two weeks. So in three weeks, I'll make another video as soon as I get that back to let you know, uh, because since I've um, since I had my implants, you guys, I was on nothing. Okay, it's super healthy. I got on uh, two thyroid medications, an ulcer medication because I kept getting H. pylori. It's a it's a bacteria in your stomach that kills off uh, your stomach lining essentially and causes acid reflux, and it's just horrible. Um, uh, my liver enzymes were high. Um, oh man, you go watch those other videos, all of these symptoms. So this is going to be really neat to see them slowly dissipate. My energies came back. Oh, I was on an antidepressant, which I started last year, you guys, after my second surgery. I had to have second surgery on this breast because the implant had dropped. So this one was nice and full. This one was down and it was just a big mess. And so um, we went in for surgery and a you know, after the month, I knew that anesthetic kind of makes you a little, you know, not yourself for a bit, but I got really, really depressed. So I ended up going on antidepressants because I was just feeling fearful of, um, of how dark I was getting. And so, um, I mean, they took six months to work, you guys, these antidepressants took six months to work. And I mean, you know, uh, they helped, they helped keep me at a level uh, that I needed to be at to function. Uh, that being said, it was a journey. It was horrible. Um, um, and just before the surgery to have them removed, um, not just before, but like during the surgery weekend, I ran out of my antidepressants. I wasn't planning on going for a second surgery. I wasn't planning on getting a blood clot, but I did. And I was out of my antidepressants. And um, so I didn't end up getting those filled. My doctor wouldn't fill them. He wanted to see me in person. That being said, I just, I was not going in and waiting to see a doctor for two hours just because I had just went through surgery. I don't feel like going and sitting in and and waiting in a waiting room and just I wasn't feeling good. I was feeling good, but I wasn't feeling that good to go and sit in a waiting room. So I called my other doctor. She filled the prescription for me and I had been off of it for a week and I felt really good, but I just, you know, I didn't want, I had a, a, a sad day and I just thought, you know, it's better to get back on them um, and wait too long than to totally crash because I don't want to crash, you know. All of the emotions that I was feeling, uh, as, as happy and as joyful I was, it was still an emotional time. Um, I was getting quite a few panic attacks um, throughout this process. I had three or four of them, like really bad. Um, just after the clot and things like that. So I just thought, you know, it's safe to go on them. Well, I got back on them and it was horrible. From instantly, from nauseated, uh, felt like pregnancy nausea to so fatigued that I felt like I had been hit with a tranquilizer dot, like just wanting to sleep all the time. Then the depression hit, I felt 
loss of interest, so depressed, like dark depressed. Um, and I thought this is not good uh, because when I first um, started the antidepressants, he warned me of those symptoms. He said, if you feel nauseous or they make you more depressed, you need to get off of them. And I never felt those symptoms. Um, I felt the extreme uh, like the tranquilize, like I'd been hit with a tranquilizer, but he never listed one of those. He just said extreme nausea and su more suicidal and you have to go off of them. Well, I didn't experience that. I just felt the extreme tired. Well, this time I experienced the um, extreme like like tranquilizer tired, uh, the nausea, like I couldn't even look in the fridges like I was pregnant again. Um, and and like started getting a little bit dark. I don't want to say suicidal, but I was I was in not a good place. Uh, like and it happened instantly, you guys. Um, so I just had a feeling. I just you know I'm like you know what this started as soon as I start taking those pills again. I'm just gonna stop. You guys, it's been almost a month free and clear of antidepressants, and I am joyful and I'm happy, and I just I feel like my heart has been revived again. I feel like, you know, um, I had died on on the medical bed, so to speak, like flatlined uh, when I got them. My, just my life went on a standstill. I went through the motions, but internally, I can't explain it, this zest for life went. Um, and it, and being a person that loves to inspire and motivate and, and do videos and share with you guys and, I uh, just has this joy. I just love God and have this joy for everything that he's done in my life and that kind of went and it was a struggle to like to even try and it feels like on that bed you know after getting them out like like you know God kind of just put those those paddles on me and like boom and then the heart rate monitor comes on do 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 she's back alive and that is how I feel I give myself goosebumps because I'm just so grateful to get a second chance. I do believe it's a second chance. I believe that I fell fast and hard and I'm so blessed that I did because I would not wanna, you know, um, have felt that way for 20 or 40 years. Um, uh, I just feel, you know, um, super blessed. I feel happy lately, you guys. I feel, um, you know, excited about life again. I feel light, my weights went down, you guys. I'm like 122, 123. Not that weight isn't that important to me, but I could not get myself below 130 after I had my implants and like just not. And and the, I didn't even really care about the weight, but the inflammation in my pelvic region was so swollen. Uh, it was just so swollen and that's went down and that happened instantly and I mean it would it kind of happened in waves like after a surgery it went down and then one day it would kind of be up but as the days went on it was less and less and less um, and I tried to not obsess about it too much I just tried to feel healthy and good but that's totally went down now you guys and I am so grateful to God for that and um, uh, those are just signs that you know there was something for sure going on in me and again the blood work I'll share that with you guys when I get my blood work back uh, Those liver enzymes are going to be huge. I don't know if my thyroids will ever go back to normal uh, Just because I'm on thyroid medication and they say once you start taking it you have to continue to take it So the liver will be for sure tell tell all sign, but I can tell you ladies right now that um, I'm working out at three weeks um, my, I just only did two circuits, but those two circuits were easier than, uh, when I had my implants and like, I, it's just, it's just amazing. Um, that being said, I did get a bit of anxiety going to the gym again. I don't know what came over me, just, you know, new body, uh, not a new body, but just back to myself and just was bringing up some emotions. So I just felt a little weird today, but, um, um, I'm feeling good you guys and all I can say to the ladies or women or mothers watching this you know that maybe haven't that have them and that you know have a few of the signs and they wonder don't even chance it um, you know you, you you are beautiful the way that God made you um, you don't need them um, if you could revive and get your life back it's it, 
oh, I can't even explain it. It's not just about symptoms going away. It's like my life has come back. Life, literally, life has came inside of me again and I haven't felt that in a long time. And, um, oh, you, I, I can't stress it enough. Like if you feel the symptoms, go and talk to your doctor. Go and do something because it's just a set of man-made boobs. It's not worth it. Those are man's way of trying to perfect or think they're perfecting what God has already created as beautiful. And they're not meant to be in our body and you're created just the way you are. You're the perfect size, you're the perfect portion. Everything about you is right for you and is perfect for your body. And you just have to take care of it with eating good and exercise and being joyful and grateful and thankful. And those are the things I feel now. Those are the things that have came back. And um, that's kind of where I'm at right now, ladies. I'm just, I'm feeling, um, I'm just feeling so grateful. And I said it in my last video, but I want to say it again because it's something that just keeps coming to my mind. So if you watch my last video, you probably heard this before, but the, for the ones that haven't, you know, um, it's not a matter if, if the implants are going to make you sick. It's a matter of how they're going to make you sick and when it's going to happen. And it may have already happened and you're not totally aware of it. Like, for instance, um, guys, I, um, I don't drink and I don't do drugs and I'm not a partier. Let's say in my younger days if I did that I don't know if I would have recognized the symptoms right away because you know You feel hungover that stuff totally messes with your body that you're like I think there's there's just when you, that's when you're doing all that stuff There's more easier things to blame it on um, But I just I can't stress enough that like it's not a matter of if the implants will make you sick it's a matter of when and how and that's a risk I'm not wanting willing to take it's like holding holding a, a gun to your head and playing Russian roulette with your life. Those implants are like a gun in you and they're waiting to go off. And you know, you may have one or two symptoms and you choose to ignore them, um, but eventually those symptoms don't go away. They just keep progressing and they keep piling and stacking and more things to eventually you can't function. And I'm sure I'm a part of this group, it's called um, breast implant healing illness uh, with Nicole. It's a Facebook group. Look it up. Go to it. It's really great. Um, there's so many women in there, over 40,000 women. And some of these women, you know, have been through cancer and had their breasts removed and have had worse things than I've even had. And so I just can't stress enough. If you're going through something, there's someone that has, has went through it that has some wisdom to speak into you. The thing is you know sometimes we we don't want to hear it we're so consumed with wanting to portray a certain image that we don't care about um losing ourselves in the midst of it until it's became too much to bear and we're not meant to bear that uh, that is god god is meant to carry those things for us but there's certain things that we have to be obedient with and that one is taking care of our body and adding implants isn't taking care of our body. I see that now. It was a part of me masking who he created me to be uh, because the world said that this is what a woman's body, a perfect body is supposed to look like and it's not because there is no perfect body. You are perfect just as you are because you can't be cloned. You are one of a kind. So for a man to make up, you know, what a woman's breasts should look like or a woman to say this is what a woman should look like is beautiful is wrong and it's not right because you can't be cloned and we shouldn't try to be a clone of this perfect um, it's not even perfect this image that the world says is beautiful is not um, um, anyways, that is where I'm at you guys. I just really wanted to share that with you and Any comments leave it in the comment box if you want to keep following my journey You guys can subscribe to the subscribe button uh, if you want to be notified of my videos uh, Coming on which I do every upload them every Monday You can ring the bell and you guys thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support I hope this inspired and encouraged somebody today and I will see you guys soon. Bye